Saya masak makanan Turki, jong goreng lai chili, wokei chan, mamam momin paya. Mereka na ikbar kau ge, barbar kau ge, kabina hei pulau ge. Oh lovely, excellent food, delicious food. Hi everyone, I'm Chef Ahmed Akpunar. We are running the Mediterranean Turkish restaurant at Scott's Roads, Faiz Plaza at level one. And we are serving uh, authentic uh, Turkish cuisine and more than Turkish is Ottoman cuisine. We serve the food, how the taste is supposed to be in Turkey. I'm from the, the Mediterranean seaside of Turkey, which is Kahraman Maraş. And I came to Singapore uh, 2002. Before I come to Singapore, I was working in a hotel. We communicate with the tourists and I went to study as well. I learned English there. With my English, I came to Singapore. I worked in Chicha restaurant for six years and I learned the people that are working, Chinese and the Malay. Outdoor, people are working, they are Malay and speaking in Malay. And indoor, in the kitchen, the people are speaking Mandarin. So I sleep with them, I work with them and I live with them, I stay with them for six years. It makes me learn and catch up their languages as well. Bahasa Malayu, saya ada banyak gawan. Saya sekarang boleh cakap, boleh tulis semua, boleh baca boleh juga. Saya masak makanan Turki, boleh masak nasi padang juga. Chinese. Now I can speak Hawaii, no problem. I can't speak Hawaii, but I can speak Chinese. 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 And I speak Hindi. I can speak once 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 the presentation also nice. It's a charcoal grill as well, and we wrap and we serve on the plates. That's my uh, signature dish. Mostly kuru fasulya and hunkar beyendi. In here, uh, we are doing exactly Ottoman dishes, mostly Ottoman dishes. Uh, most of the recipes uh, I also find my mother's recipe. I join everything, my knowledge, my experience, and my mother's recipe, my grandmother's recipe. So I brought this restaurant. Let people try. Uh, something different. Kuru fasulya, hinkar beyendi, musaka, beiti, and yogurt kebab. It's, it's not easy to make, needs skill, but I enjoy to make it. Those are my signature as well, and people like as well. It depends on people. Some, they like to eat rice, some, they like to eat bread. So it's a little bit challenging as well, but mostly people, they like very much. They say, oh, lovely, excellent food, delicious food. Uh, I find out because when I cook, I don't cook how I like. I don't cook how Singaporean like. I cook how it's supposed to be in Turkey. And I don't do any Western plating. I serve the plating as well, how it's supposed to be in Turkey. So the people like it because of the natural taste. When I cook the meat, I don't use too much herbs. I want people to feel the meat quality and the taste. If the food is spicy or oily, that food is definitely not Turkish food. We don't use too much herb in the Turkish foods because we want people to feel what meat you like to eat, what vegetable you like to eat. You must feel the meats taste, not the herbs. Because my brother, my big brothers, and my father is also chef. I started working in my father's restaurant when I was 10 years old. So I feel interesting. Half day I go to school, half day I start work in my father's restaurant. In my time, the school was very tough. Teachers also very tough. I'm suffering in the school. Maybe I'm a lazy student. But when I go to my father's restaurant, the people all pamper me. Then they give me tea. Then I like the work more than the school. I was in magazine, newspapers, and TV as well. I involved in accident. Uh, I was handicapped for four years. Yes, I I'm not able to wear shoes. I'm not able to wear pants. I'm not able to stand as well. I was on wheelchair for four years, and doctors are always saying that you might not able to walk anymore. But I didn't give up, and that's why uh, I was teaching in the school. The reason I started working in a restaurant, I said if I open a restaurant, maybe slowly, slowly I can do something. Thanks God, we are successful and we are doing well right now. And I stand up and I fight with the life. I'm back to back, yeah. When I was 17 years old, I started work as a chef in other people's restaurant. My head chef told me that if you want to upgrade yourself, you need to move around, see different chefs, different places, different kitchens, different cuisines. Then you can combine and you can create your own technique, skills, experience and knowledge and you can upgrade yourself as well. So whenever I see that where is the famous chef, famous restaurant, famous hotel, famous kitchen, I always uh, move around there 
to learn new technique, uh, new recipes, to upgrade myself always. That's why uh, I have been a lot of countries, more than 20 countries. I have seen a lot of uh, chefs and I work with them as well. First, I start to cook for Turkish embassy. It was normal for me because it's our food and our people's. So people like uh, and love very much. And I work uh, for Qatar, uh, Dubai and Emirates ambassadors as well. As well, I work for some ministers. I cook for their private events as well, yes. To me, I cook normal food. They love it very much because I always believe that when I cook food, if I think that whether they like or not, whether I will be successful or not, whether I fail or not, it makes me fail because my mind is not on the food. My mind is whether I will be successful or not. So I need to focus. I always do my best. I let them judge, decide and give comment and feedback as well whether they like or not. So all the time they like my food very much. Until today I keep in touch with them. Most of the Turkish people, they come here when they miss their home food. Because only this restaurant, the Mediterranean Deli Turk is the one cooking authentic mother food, authentic Ottoman food and Turkish food. I have been Italian, French and Western cuisines. I know how to cook Malay cuisines and Chinese cuisines, but I don't mix it up. I cook how it's supposed to be and how it's supposed to plating. I cook the food exactly Turkish style, Turkish serving and the Turkish taste.